After spending a few years in this industry, I've learned a lot of things and I've also made a lot of mistakes. It wasn't easy. Everyone's journey is different. But there are a few things that you can do right to ensure a smooth journey. And that's what this video is all about. Welcome back. This is your coder bro Veer and let's get started. So a lot of people fall in this trap of tutorial hell wherein they just keep learning new things because they feel it's not enough to get a new job or start working on their own project. But I feel that's wrong. You should start working on your projects or ideas as soon as you learn something because that's how you get started. Don't wait too long enough to get started. As soon as you learn something, start building your own ideas or start implementing the skills that you have learned from that course. So ideally in a course, you just follow along with the instructor, you build that project along with the instructors and that's where most people stop it and move on to the next course. But I don't think that's correct. You should also implement something of your own, start building some different project based on the skills that you learnt in that project and once you've done that you can actually put that on your github profile you can deploy it on any servers you know like Heroku or DigitalOcean they all have some kind of free tier you can showcase these projects to your clients or your employers if you're trying to look for a job and that is how you learn things in programming right you create and in this process of creating you learn you also implement your skills but you also end up learning a lot of new things while you create something so keep creating so the next thing is about getting started the beginning is often the most hardest part but you need to start coding every single day it might seem a bit difficult especially if you are on a busy schedule but trust me consistency is the key here i'll start spending every moment of my life learning this shit that's what i told myself elon musk mode baby but when it was actually the time to sit and study I found it too hard to get started. My advice here is to get started small. In fact very small that it's too hard to screw up. Start with just 5 minutes of your day for the first week and slowly start increasing this time and once you eventually build the momentum and once you get into that rhythm you're gonna find it easy because once you've gained that momentum you're gonna realize it was not that hard to get started and that is when you can actually go with the flow now if you were to ignore all my advices from this video and take away just one point it would be this exact part so please don't skip this one so in all the movies and series a programmer is always portrayed as someone nerd or an introvert but let me tell you this you will never grow by being an introvert in this industry the key to growing in this industry is by networking you got to communicate with a lot of people with your peers with your seniors networking is the key to getting job referrals learning things i'm lucky that i found a mentor in my early stage of career his name is rahul yadav uh, we used to call him rahul bhaiya yeah he's been like a bro to me but he's also been like a mentor figure to me and it would have been hard without his guidance so my advice would be to improve your communication skill and start networking with people because you never know when you're going to find someone who can be your mentor as they say your network is your net worth my next advice would be to never lose hope I don't know for some reason maybe it's our society maybe it's the way we are brought up or if it's social media people think that if you have not figured out your life by the time you're 25 you're a loser but let me tell you this even if you've wasted your 20s you can still turn your life around it's never too late to get started i've seen people in their late 20s switch from a non technical job to a completely programming related job for example i once knew a guy who was working in a tech support role He now works as a sales for developer. Now this is something that came up in a recent conversation with a friend. It's basically called the 80/20 rule. It basically means that you spend 20% of your time to acquire 80% of the skill, but you need to spend the 80% of your time to acquire the remaining 20% of the skills because that's when you actually master the skill. Now why is this important? Because anybody can be a mediocre but if you truly want to be a master if you want to be the best in the industry you got to give it enough time and it doesn't exactly has to be 80 20 it could vary from person to person based on their own pace but whatever you get the point 
and that is it for today guys i hope you found it helpful please comment down below what you felt about this video was it helpful this is we signing off i'll see you in my next video bye bye